Hello crafty friends and welcome to another Stamping September video. In today's video I'm going to use elements from these four stamp sets. These two are silicone stamp sets, I believe I got these on Amazon. This one was a charity shop find, might be stamping up, not sure, but it's photopolymer. And this one is a hodgepodge of stamps that I have collected from various sets over the years. These are, these big ones here are photopolymer anyway. I've got a piece of smooth white cardstock here in my stamp positioner and I've got some Catherine Pooler inks which are dye inks and are translucent so that when you stamp one on top of the other you get a new colour, a blend of the two. And I've chosen analogous colours, those that are near each other on the colour wheel. We've got do, -si -do which is a red orange, Bellini which is an orange and Tiara which is an orange yellow. I'm going to start with one of the silicon stamps and just have it coming in there. My idea is to kind of stamp not a wreath but have some paint swipe splotch stamps going around my card coming in from the side. As this is a brand new silicone stamp I'm just going to go over it with an eraser. This just prepares the surface really to take ink. You can use a sand eraser or a regular eraser. You can even just sort of rub it on your skin. It just makes it more receptive to ink. And we'll start with the dosy -si dough. Got my little air hockey pressure tool here to help press the stamps down. That looks pretty good. I might give it a second go. Now I'm going to bring in another paint swipe. Have that coming in there. This one's a photopolymer. Give that a go with the Bellini. I think I'll just do one on there. That looks pretty good. And as you can see, you get a new colour here where the Bellini is crossed over the do, -si -do. And now for another one, a different stamp with Tiara. And now one of the, I think, stamping up stamps with do, -si -do again. And I think I'll stick with these three colours and these four stamps. I can use both ends of the stamps and just whiz round the card. Right, I want to fill in some of the gaps. So I've got a different paint swipe stamp and it's a girl this time, which is a pink. It's a red on the colour wheel. And I'll just swing that around and stamp it in the other corner. And use the other side over here. And I think up here, I just need a tiny little flash of yellow. I think it needs it to be balanced. And now I want to use this rectangle frame die to cut out a frame. And I'm going to do this in my cuttle bag with my regular cutting sandwich. And I've got a cardboard shim there just to protect the front of my card panel. So I'll pop that on like that and run it through the machine. So now I've got my outer piece, a frame and my inner piece. I'm going to take this frame out and put this frame in there like that, just to break it up a bit and bring in a bit of bling. To attach this piece to my card blank, I'm using tape runner. I want to attach this middle piece to the frame so I can treat it as one. 
I put some glue, just matte gel, gel medium on the back and stuck it on a piece of smooth white cardstock. I shall run some more matte gel medium around the edge. I'm just using this because it's to hand. Any glue will do. This frame is going to go around that rectangle. By putting the rectangle down first, I can push the frame up against it to make sure that it stays rectangular. If I try to glue the frame down first, it might go a bit wibbly wobbly. Press that down with a bit of non-stick deli paper and then trim it out with my trimmer. To bring in a little bit of dimension, the plan is to pop this up on some foam. This is double-sided adhesive foam. It's not very thick, so it won't add too much bulk to the card. I've cut it a little bit smaller than the rectangle so that it's all hidden. And now that can go in there like that. I put some very sticky high tack glue there and I pressed my sentiment down into it and I can put this on here. This is just a lots of love die cut that I cut using that same glitter cardstock that I put on the frame. I pulled some gold glitter circles from my pot of die cut circles. And I shall add some on here. And to add a little bit of dimension and gloss to these gold glitter circles, I'll add some crystal glaze. Glossy Accents does the same job. Nouveau drops in Morning Dew would work well. You'd probably get more dimension with that though, because they do tend to round out into taller blobs or circles than crystal glaze or glossy accents. And there we go. One lots of love card. Not very clean, but it is pretty simple. It's just some stamping, some die cutting and some assembling. But I hope it's given you some ideas of things you can do with the dyes, the stamps, the inks that you already have in your stash. And even if you don't have paint, swipe or stripe stamps, you could just use a paintbrush and inks and do some swiping. And I think that will do for today. If you've enjoyed the video, please do let me know in the comments, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and I will see you back here very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.